Hello everybody, welcome to a Valheim video today. We are going to be taking a look at how to sail in Valheim. This applies to whether you are sailing in a uh, in a lowly raft, a carve, or, uh, or, uh, or a Viking longship. Um, the, uh, it's really quite simple once you get the hang of it. However, initially uh, I found it a little bit confusing, so I thought I'd make a video for those of you who are just getting started on the uh, mechanics of sailing. Number one, uh, if you look kind of over the little steering wheel in the center of the screen, you can see a little arrow. Uh, two arrows and three arrows. This has to do with your movement uh, speed. Now if you have one arrow that means that you are not using the wind. You are rowing. Uh, this can be helpful if you are trying to sail uh, upwind. Uh, if you look to your right, to the right, um, you can see the wind direction right there. So right now you can see it's coming in from the sort of top and the right direction. Now I could put my sails down. Three sails is of course a full 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 speed ahead <laughs> or a three arrows rather is full speed ahead. Two arrows is of course half speed and then one arrow is just rowing. Uh, and of course you also have no arrows which is stop and drift and you also have a reverse now that will put you into a rowing reverse direction. Um, that's that's about all there is to it. You pay attention to which way that wind is blowing from. And uh, if you are trying to go in the direction that the wind is blowing, you will want to switch from sailing to rowing because when your sail is down, if, for example, I try to to go directly into the wind, let me just stop that because there's not too much. I not I can't really go too far. <laughs> but if I try to go directly into the wind, well, that's not really going to work too well. I'm I'm pretty much going to have no movement here. You'll a you'll actually do better off rowing directly into the wind, as you can see the wind's blowing from the front right now. So if you're rowing directly into the wind or pretty close to directly into the wind, uh, that that's your that's your indicator. Actually, what you can see there, if you look closely. At the uh, at the compass of the wind compass rather um, is a little wind zone, so to speak. That little uh, black area to the top uh, of the of the circle, and there's kind of a more golden area and more dark area to the to the top of the wind zone. Sort of indicates when you have wind to sail with versus when you lose that wind. Uh, it's not. 100% precise. I've, I've found that you are able to sail with a little bit of wind even if you're not in the golden area but uh, you definitely don't have much of it. So that's 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 kind of sailing in a nutshell. <laughs> um, a couple of tips if you get out into a high sea with high storm and big waves uh, your boat can actually take damage. A good way to keep an eye on your boat uh, damage level is just to open up your repair tool and mouse over and you can see what your current repair status is. If your boat starts to take too much damage uh, you will <laughs> get capsized at sea, probably drown and uh, have a hard time getting your recovering your gear having a bit of a it's a bit of a pain to build another boat and sail out to your gear so something to avoid if at all possible and that's about it that's all there is to Val I'm sailing. It's a lot of fun. I just love coasting along, coasting along the shoreline, exploring new locations, catching some good wind. Uh, it's great. Watch out for uh, watch out for sea serpents. Uh, keep keep a bow and arrow handy. If a sea serpent uh, discovers you, uh, he will start to attack your boat. And if that happens, you well, <laughs> you can capsize and. Uh, and uh, again, drown at sea. So keep a keep a good number of arrows handy. Keep your bow ready, uh, just in case. All right. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. A quick tutorial on sailing.